Hello, people, and welcome to this week's episode of Metal Cave! This week, we're going to carry on with the customization of the guitar made by guitar. Um, but, you know, before I get ahead of myself, I, I want to explain this. I, more voodoo. More voodoo. I mean, last week it was the bracelets. This week I come in, I got tattoos all over me. I, I, it's, it's George's trickery, and he's still off at his boys to men fan fanboy convention, whatever the heck it is. Um, but you know what? I don't even care anymore. I just come in this room and I just do whatever happens at this point. I, I just don't care. But anyway... Um, the customization. I, I thought the guitar was done after the uh, after the Neptune Bridge and the Whammy Neck, but when I talked to the customer, he said that he also was interested in having his guitar relict. So, um, what is that, you might ask? Well, uh, sometimes people like to have their guitar look like it's been beaten to hell. Uh, basically, is what it is. Um, with warning marks in the paint and, and things like that and uh, you know some people just buy the guitar brand new to make it look like it was old um, myself I prefer to just put my own marks on my guitars it's kind of like uh, you know scars on your body it's got a cool story and a memory behind it but you know some people don't want to wait for that that's that's the world today nobody wants to wait so anyhow uh, we're gonna we're gonna go through that process on this guitar we're going to relic the guitar and there's a lot of ways to go about doing that. Um, there's a lot of processes different guitar companies use when they do that. Um, myself, I like to just do it in a more natural way without the use of machines or, or uh, complex tools. Um, but you'll see, you'll see my process. I, I'm gonna share it with you and uh, I, th I think you'll enjoy it and, and maybe learn something. So um, with that, let's, let's go get to it. Our new life begins! for getting a little too carried away out there. Um, but you know, I think I just got so caught up in the process of the relicking that I just blacked out. I mean, I just blacked out. It was just crazy. Um, but in, in doing that, I believe I've done my best work. I mean, look at this. You can't get much more relic than that. I think the customer's gonna be thrilled. I think this is exactly what they wanted. Um, and I threw in an excellent set of strings. I always like to do that for the customer. Give them good strings, send them home with good strings. But uh, yeah, relic. I don't know how thrilled my wife is going to be with the uh, relicking of the bird feeder out there, but it's fine. She'll be okay. It, it'll all be fine. Uh, so the only thing really left to do is uh, potting soil uh, and miracle grow, and eventually, this will just become a brand new tree. So like I said, I mean, you can't get any more relic when it comes to a guitar than returning it all the way to its original origin of a tree. And we're saving the planet in the process. I mean, Metal Cave, Metal Cave, planting trees. You're welcome. 
Greta Thunberg. Uh, so anyway, yeah, job well done, and I think it's time to get on with George's song pick of the week. So let's do it. You know, I just can't believe this. It's more trickery. It, now when I touch my guitar, when I hold my guitar, this, this. I tell you, when you get back, George, you're a dead man. You're a dead man. At, at least when, when I'm done with this, this is gone. It's not full time in the cave, but it's ridiculous. Anyway, um, <clears throat> one other thing I needed to apologize for from last week was... Uh, I accused my customer of having a crack pipe in his uh, guitar case, and um, it ends up it's it's a uh, pitch pipe. So uh, I've never seen such a thing, but uh, you know I apologize. You know it's just you know how the kids are today with the pick me ups. So um, anyway, pitch pipe, not crack pipe. But let's see what kind of metal George has this time. He assured me it was truly going to be metal this time. So, here we go. You know, George, I know you're not this stupid to not know what metal is. The Motown Philly, Boys the Men, should have known. I think you're just doing this because you don't think I can put a guitar solo to it. Put this in. 